Hello, <clears throat> dear brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ. Thank you for joining me this morning. My name is Lynn, and my channel is Stand Before Jesus. You know, I want to talk about a couple things. I have been reading Romans 12, 13, 14, and 15. Just open to this page here, Romans. And... I want to talk about leadership and how many that are religious or even people who are very political, anyone that has a role to play in the society that is of a managerial position, like the president or a religious shepherd, a priest or pastor. <clears throat> You know, these people, managerial positions, uh, presidents, things like that, they have very, very sophisticated role in life. And as I was growing up, getting to know Christ, this isn't really a testimony about myself, but for a moment I just want to touch on this. As I began to grow in the Lord Jesus Christ, there are many things that I had stated it you know, uh, as a baby Christian and as a young person in Jesus, pretty much infant, pretty much embryonically infant in Jesus Christ, like haven't really began to grow yet, really, you know, and it took quite a long time for me to receive Jesus and work hard to repent, work hard to get evils that God hates out of my life. So, but after this has been said and done, the Christ removed the log, the moat, the, um, the cudgel, you know, the uh, thing that was in my eye that kept me from seeing the truth. <clears throat> and then, you know, if you live in lies, you're going to lack the true security that Christ can give us. And... With this, though, I want to talk about the things that we learn after we've walked with Jesus, even just a little bit, even as a young person in Christ, a few years in of walking with Jesus, you know, it's very important that we pray for those people in higher positions, whether or not we like what they do, uh, managerials, uh, you know, there's uh, governors, there's presidents, you know, co-workers, bosses, just, you know, there's a lot of critical, there's a lot of critical, you know, um, connotations, you know, in these fields, a lot of things that go on that makes a root of bitterness, and this root can grow, and people could begin to hate each other, but Christ said we must pray for those and don't judge them, and I have repented. I've been guilty in the past. And it is awful. You know, we have to learn lessons, though, according to God's will. And some people have given me mercy. And, you know, they know the rules of Jesus. To love your neighbor as you would love yourself. This is in this scripture here. Love fulfills God's requirement. And also, respect for authority, the dangers of criticism, living to please others, a living sacrifice to God. You know, these managers, uh, governors, pastors, priests, people that claim to be of the Asaba, the body of Jesus, these people have a very delicate role in life and in the end if they don't please God Jesus they will be going to a very dark place that you don't want to be my friends that's why we must just pray for people that they can sacrifice their sins sacrifice their hate get it out repent and live for the law of love, live for God, live for Jesus Christ, and have mercy on souls, have mercy on people, 
because there is an end to sin. Christ defeated sin on the cross. Amen. Praise the Lord Jesus Christ. And we should be very careful about criticizing because some brothers and sisters are pretty much embryonic, haven't really decided yet if they're going to walk with Jesus, and they're weak, and they need good pastor. They need the words of Jesus, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, and then <clears throat> his words by faith, by hearing the words of faith, will make you whole. And that is God's will on all of his children, that we have eyes to see, ears to hear his brilliant mysteries of the kingdom of God, his brilliant truth, and live for love, live for the, the love of Christ in our life, my friends. And with that, I just want to close that we have to live by the law of love and forgive people, pray for everybody, pray for enemies, don't judge them as it's written in these chapters, we shouldn't judge people and make them stumble and fall, but we should try to hold them up with the Lord, hold them and bring them into the truth. We must do right, build them up in Jesus Christ. And it's a sensitive topic. So with that, I just want to say praise Jesus Christ all the time friends and follow in his footsteps to be a holy people, a holy nation, a holy bride for Jesus Christ, priest and priestess, men and women and children of the Lord Jesus Christ being led by him daily rejecting evil and living with love in our hearts even for other people that seemingly hate for no reason. They hate because the root of bitterness has sprung up and they don't see any love. If they don't if they don't have a vision of love in Jesus Christ, they'll be lost, my friends. So pray for people. Have a great day in Jesus' name. <clears throat>